In this video, I want to tell you guys about Shapescape Studio, which is a new Blender add-on that helps you create stylized and painterly trees and plants. This add-on was created by Traditional 3D alongside Cody Jindy, and it works with Blender 5 and an MPR foliage toolkit. And here's the thing: this isn't just another tree asset pack; it is a whole workflow for generating custom trees. That's really look cool. You will get a bunch of presets, procedural generation tools, custom shaders, and even built-in wind animation to bring these trees to life. And by the way, the add-on is designed for Blender's EV engine, so you can see the results in real time. And now, let's take a look at the features and tools you will get. So Shapescape lets you turn any mesh shape, I mean even a simple blob or silhouette, into a fully leafed out tree or bush. So the add-on can grow a tree or a bush, or even a grass clump from almost any mesh shape that you can provide. So if you have a funky idea for a tree silhouette, just model a base shape and let the add-on do the rest. It will procedurally sprout branches in addition to foliage to match your mesh. Another feature is the ability to use your own hand-painted textures. I'm talking about leaves and foliage. You can literally paint some leaf shapes, or maybe brush strokes, and have those appear on your 3D tree, giving it a unique handcrafted look. The add-on also comes with six ready-made texture presets, you know, to help you get started, but you can swap in your own and you can do that anytime, maybe for a personal touch. But it doesn't stop there. Shapescape also includes seasonal shader controls that let you tweak colors with ease. If you want to see your tree in autumn with orange and winter white, just adjust a few gradient base color settings and you can instantly change the season of your flora without repainting anything. And if your scene needs a bit of life, there is built-in wind animation. And here's the thing, with the animal's wind toggles, your tree's leaves and branches will sway gently if a breeze is blowing, you know, to make it look alive and compete with the other add-ons that can do that too, by the way. And the good thing, all of this happens procedurally, so you don't have to hand animate a single leaf on top of that. The animal ships with 100 ready-made trees and plant models, in addition to lots of shader variations, which is great, I mean, giving you plenty of examples, in addition to many starting points that you can play around with right out of the box. And because the system is entirely geometry nose powered, it makes it non-destructive, and you can tweak any input or setting on the fly, so nothing is ever baked in until you decide to apply it. This means you can do endless experimentation, Let's say you want to grow a tree, change the shape, swap textures, adjust colors, add wind, and so on, and it will update live, which is great. The add-on also shines if you are into stylized or painterly 3D art. And by the way, the developer has lots of add-ons like this, if you want to check his page. I mean, instead of aiming for hyper-realistic trees, it leans into an illustrative, hand-painted aesthetic. You know, the kind that you see in concept art or maybe in an anime background. This makes it great for projects where you want a creative and story look vibe. For example, if you're an animator working on an MPR short film, or maybe you are a game developer prototyping a whimsical forest, the analyst should whip up some bespoke trees that can fit the art style with minimal fuss. Concept artists can also use it to visualize fantasy landscapes directly in Blender. You know, iterating on tree designs and color schemes in real time. Essentially anyone who loves the look of hand-painted textures, but also it is for anyone who appreciates the convenience of procedural tools. If this is the case, you will appreciate what this add-on has to offer. And generally speaking, I think it is both newbie-friendly thanks to the included presets, and deep enough for professionals who want to customize every detail. So guys, if you are interested in Shapescape Studio, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.